Hi there folks, this is Bent Music. In this video, we're going to learn how to put a bagpipe together. This is one of the most complicated instruments on the planet and there's a good reason for that. There's a lot of moving parts, a lot of things vibrating. So let's break down this process. I also give online lessons, so if you're interested, you can find info in the description below. First thing we need to do is ensure that this pipe bag is airtight. Without the pipe bag, you don't have bagpipes. All you have is pipes. We're going to take the corks and put them in and give them a little bit of a push and a, sh and a turn as you put them in so they're nice and secure. Do that with all of the drone stocks, that's these three, and do that with the chanter stock, which is this. That's where the chanter is going to go. Take your blowpipe, which is this one, and this one is a flexible one, that's why it's on an angle. Put it into the blowpipe stock here. And one thing, I'm, one thing I'll mention before we carry on with this is if you do not have a valve on this thing, it's a little um, round piece of rubber that goes over top of your blowpipe here with a little copper staple on the side. If you don't have that and your blowpipe does not come with a valve, I highly suggest you get one because the valve will keep the air that you blow into the bag from coming back out the bag. It will help with the air pressure and it'll help with uh, keeping um, the instrument more fun to play. With this kind of blowpipe here has a valve that's already pre-built in, so I don't have to worry about it. But if you do put a valve on here, put the copper staple um, uh, vertical-wise on this side and put the uh, valve part on this part and do the best you can to make it as flush as possible. And then um, I'm going to adjust this. So. One way to check that the valve is airtight is to um, suck on the end of this part and see if you can hear any hissing or if, um, and if your, uh, your lip or your tongue um, gets sucked onto this part, that will ensure that this thing is airtight. So I did get a little bit on there. So the valve is in there properly and it is pre-built in. It may be hard to see that, but there is a white valve um, just about here. So that's okay. So do, put, do yourself a favor and put a valve on because uh, back in the 1980s before valves had really become um, a, bit, a main thing, pipers would have to use their tongue to keep the air from coming out. So, the, uh, ba the bag is pretty airtight right now. It's not really losing any air. And what I'm doing with my right hand, if you notice, is I have my hand just underneath the furl part of the blowpipe. And that's just to check if there's any air escaping. And right now, there's not really any air at all. Um, if there is air coming out from this part, then you just need to put a little bit, bit of hemp on the blowpipe. And we'll talk about what kinds of hemp will work better than others uh, later on in this video. Now that we know that our big pipe is going to be air efficient, the uh, pipe egg wise, we need to get the drones going. We need bass and tenor drones. Now you'll know, you'll know that the bass is the bass from the tenor because the bass is shorter or the bass is longer than the tenor. The tenor is shorter than the bass. So that's one way you can tell and because this part of uh, the tenor is also shorter than this part. So let's start by putting the reeds into the drones. When you put the reeds into the drones, don't put the side in because you won't get it in. You put the um, hemp part in. If um, there's no hemp on this side, then um, you'll have to put some hemp on there. But again, I'll talk about that in a moment. Put the hemp part of the reed into the reed C, which is this. Put it in and give it a bit of a twist and shove it in there if you have to. Um, some Drone reed seats will not be threaded, which is which is another way uh, word of way of um, saying tapping into. There's a little uh, tool that um, creates a corkscrew um, pattern in, pattern in here. These have been corkscrewed for years, and frankly, I highly encourage you to do that. And you can do that with the pipe chanters as well. So <clears throat> we're going to put the reeds into the rest of um, the drones. Do the same thing. Ensure they're nice and secure. And you can tell if it's secure if you hold onto the, re uh, the drone like this, grab the reed with your other hand, and then see if you can pull that reed out. So I'm tugging on this thing, it ain't coming out. 
So that means that it's nice and airtight. So do that for all of them. The other thing I want to mention before we if, uh, keep going is a lifeline. Now, what is a lifeline? Lifeline is this little thing right here. It's a little piece of uh, stringer hemp. It doesn't have to be that long, um, just long enough so that it can um, go from <clears throat> the reed down here. It can go all the way down if you want to, but I don't recommend more than three, half to three quarters of the way down the, the hemp part here. What this is gonna do is if your reeds decide to be a pain and fall into the bag during a practice or during transportation, this lifeline is going to keep this reed from falling into the bag. So we've got the, the drone, we got the base um, parts of the drones pretty well done. Before we go to installing them, I want to quickly talk to you about hemps. Now hemps, there's two different kinds of hemps. There's non-waxed and there's waxed. With these two, you can tell that the waxed one, which is this one, it's a little bit darker in shade. This one's not uh, as dark, so it's not waxed. This stuff's okay. It will stick, but this one will stick better. And this um, wax temp is actually a lot better with um, uh, moisture control uh, differences in the air. Um, it, won't con it won't contract and um, expand and uh, um, deflate <laughs> when, uh, it's, um, uh, when the moisture changes. So this is really good when it comes to um, uh, managing your moisture. So I suggest you use this stuff. If you don't have this wax stuff, you can use this stuff, but I would take a bit of wax. It can be cobbler's wax. It could be just general wax, something that will stick to the hemp. And I would put it over top of um, the hemp over top of the wax and put your thumb there and then just pull across like that. And just do that a few times until you've coated the hemp with the wax. And then you can use that on the pipes and it will help you a lot. So that's one little tip. So the next thing we're going to do is we're going to put these drones together. Well, let's start out with the base. The base is made up, the top of the base is made up into two parts. It's made of the very top part and the middle part. This is the part where you would usually tune the base. And uh, this can be tuned a little bit, but more for last uh, resort tuning. So you're going to put this part onto this on um, the tuning pin. That's what this is called. You're going to put it in there like that and then give it a bit of a twist. And um, this is a teeny on the loose side, so I will add some hem to it later on. But you're going to put this part down enough so that you can see a little bit of hemp there. You can see, you can see that it's a little shiny. Put it down so you can see just a sliver of that and that'll give you the best uh, tuning range that you need. Do the same thing with uh, the tenors. Whoops. Do the same thing with the tenors and um, put it down to um, about just above the hemp line there. And I'll do the same thing with the base. And with this one, you're going to put it down, not, you're gonna go past the hemp line on this one. You're gonna use two fingers, that's what I suggest, and um, put it between the furl and um, the next uh, mount of the drone. You're gonna put two fingers between there, roughly about there, it doesn't have to be perfect, but that's going to give you the best tuning range um, for when you go to tune. Do the same thing with this one, just about the hemp line on the two tenors and those are ready to be put into the bagpipe. So let's put them in. So when you go to put the drones in, you can put just the, um, the bottom parts of the drones in first, that's fine. For, for right now, I'm going to take the, um, the drone, I'm gonna um, hold it up where I'm holding it with my left hand. I'm just gonna put um, the drone in. When you're putting it in, try not to bump the reed on the inside of the stock as it may um, bump it and um, uh, throw it out of position a little bit. But uh, if it touches, not a big deal, but just try not to hit the side of it if you can. Do that with all of the drones until they're all in and uh, get that lifeline in there. <clears throat> and uh, when, you go to put, when you put these in, ensure that these two are um, right against each other and there's not um, really any gaps. If there's any gaps, try to minimize those um, as that will help with your air tightness. So now that these are all together, let's put a uh, cork into the chanter stock and uh, we're gonna see if we can get the drones to shut off with a lot of force. <laughs> Okay, 
So the outside tether is taking too much air, so I need to open it up a little bit, or a close it rather. <laughs> I open it up, I'm definitely not gonna get it to stop. So I'll take it out, and what I'm gonna do is the little bridle here, this uh, little black part, I'm going to move it down just a little bit. It doesn't have to be much. In fact, with these ones, you have to do very minor adjustments and then just see how it goes. So I can get that to stop. So let's try that now. You may have to do that several times um, with uh, any of the drones, really. But this will help you to ensure that uh, you're not um, putting too much air into them. No sense in putting too much in. get them to turn off but one is but one of the tenors is uh, turning off before the other it's still the outside tenor so I'm going to um, close it off just a hair more same outside uh, tenor and uh, I'm going to get it uh, to close up just a little bit more we'll see how that works Okay, I can get all those to turn off now, which is good. So the drones are shutting off when I really blow hard, a lot harder than I'm probably gonna blow when the pipe chander is in. So that tells me that they have enough um, air intake ability to stay on while the chanter's in. So let's try sticking the pipe chanter in and seeing if we can get the uh, drones to um, uh, stop when I really, really blow hard on the chanter. So let's take the cork out of the chanter stock, let it fall everywhere. <laughs> We're going to take the cap off this chanter and you don't have to use this one this is humidity controlled i do suggest putting a cap on your chanter when you're not playing it do not keep the chanter in the pipes as the reed will deteriorate faster because of the amount of moisture that's in the bag the moisture doesn't leave the bag um, that quickly it takes a while so take your chanter out of the bag when you're not playing and put a cap on it, it doesn't have to be this one it can be black with no significant um, features on it other than a, uh, a little screw pin to um, secure it to the chanter so use a chanter cap cap it so now we're going to put the chanter into the drone stock or into the chanter stock rather and this is a nice relatively nice reed um, a newer reed I don't want to bump the side of the stock with the reed because it could chip the reed because these things are really delicate and fragile. So take the chanter with your hand like this. It doesn't have to be the exact same grip, just enough so you have a, a good grip on it. And then we're going to put the chanter into the stock like this, being very careful not to bump the side of the stock with the reed so we don't chip it and break it. Push it in, give it a bit of a twist so that um, we know that it's uh, got enough um, hemp on it. And then we're going to push it all the way in until we get a nice flush fit between um, the chanter and the stock. Okay. So I could get all the drones to shut off while blowing really hard into that into that um, into that reed. It did take a little bit, but it did shut off. So maybe even a little bit more, perhaps. But that's uh, going to be more subjective to your own um, uh, capabilities. So let's carry on. That is basically how you put a big pipe together. There's a lot to it. Um, there's more. Um, features and options that you can put into it like moisture control systems and that'll be in a that'll be for a different video and um, I'll show you how to put hemp onto the drones in another video as well and both of these videos will be linked in the in uh, the description and in the cards so the bagpipes are all together so let's see how it sounds
So I hope that this video was helpful and informational. If there's anything about this video that you're not sure about or you want a bit of clarification on, please leave a comment down below, a question, I'll answer it. And please subscribe to the channel if you haven't already, I would really appreciate it. Leave a like and comment if you want to, and I'll see you in the next one.